My name is Seti and welcome back to another EDU Enterprise Highlights with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at the polls and Q&A functionality of Google Meet. Now, this is an enterprise feature and so if you do not have an enterprise account, I will leave more information about enterprise accounts in the description below. Now, let's jump into a Google Meet and let's start off with a simple poll. Now here in my Google Meet, I have four demo student accounts and two teacher accounts. Now during my lesson, I would like to poll their opinion and so I'm going to open up the polls and Q&A tab. In the top right corner, you will see we have the activities and we can open these. One of the options there is to run a poll. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to click on my poll option and I'm going to start a poll. What am I going to ask them? Well, let's start with a favorite color. Let's go ahead and ask them their favorite color. And then we give them a number of options. They're either going to choose blue, red, green, or even other. There we go. Now the names and answers will be recorded and you will get an overview of this at the end of the poll. So let's go ahead and click on save. I've now saved this poll. And as soon as I'm ready to launch the poll, I can click on that launch icon. This poll is now still invisible to all the attendees and participants of this meet. As you can see here from this demo account, they have no mention of that poll. However, as soon as I click on launch the poll, they will get a notification in the bottom right corner that a new poll has been launched. In addition to that, they also see that at the top, the activities has a little green icon on it. That means that there is something that needs their attention. And so when they click on that, they will see that the polls have a green icon. There is an active poll. They can go ahead and they can now answer this question. So let's go ahead and do that for all our student demo accounts. We're going to answer blue for this one and let's vote. Now, once they've voted, the teacher on their view will see a live overview of all the poll results that are coming in. So let's go ahead and do it for all the other demo accounts as well. Let's answer the poll for everyone. And there we go. Now the teacher can see that everyone's responded by counting up those votes, but there's also the option to toggle this switch at the bottom and show everyone else the results. So now I'm showing all the participants, as you can see here, their results. They can see that there have already been two votes for blue, two for green and one for other. I can also now end this poll. Now, once I've ended this poll, they are no longer able to submit a response. So here you can see if they try to respond to this, the poll has ended. They can still view the results, but at the top it does say end it. Now I can always create a new poll and then poll my students again, but this is a great way of just quickly gauging their understanding of a lesson or getting some feedback from your group. In addition to polls, we also have the Q&A function. Now, when you click on Q&A within the activities window, you will give everyone a way of asking questions without having to turn on their microphones or raising the hands or waiting for you to call them out. So what we can do is we can turn on the Q&A. Now, as soon as I turn it on, you will see that all my students are getting a notification that Q&A is now on. I can toggle this switch on my teacher account to allow questions or I can even turn this off and no longer allow new questions to come in, respond to all the questions that have been asked and then toggle this back on and now everyone can post their questions again. So let's go ahead and post a question from a student demo account and then let's see what that looks like on the teacher view. Now this student here sees that there is a little green icon in the top corner and that means that they can join in with an activity. They're going to click on that and they can see that the Q&A is active because there is a little green dot next to it. So let's go ahead and ask a question. They are going to click on ask a question. How will this be used in the classroom? Question. They are going to now post that question and they can here now immediately see that question. They are not the only ones that see this question. The other students, when they go into that Q&A section, will see that the student two account has asked a question. That means that they can now click on that little thumbs up to upvote this question. In other words, they have that same question. And so the teacher will see immediately which questions are the most popular questions. In addition to that, our teacher will see an overview of how many upvotes it gets and they can then answer that question. Once they've answered a the question, they can delete it. They can click on mark as answered, 
or they can even mark it as hidden. So when I click on hidden, this question is hidden from all the other students. However, I still see it. So let's say that it's more of a personal question. I can hide the question from the other students and then deal with it later. I'm going to unhide this question and then I'm going to answer the question and press on answered. Once I've ticked that, my student will now see that this question has been answered because there is a little tick next to that question. In addition to that, they can choose to delete their question or edit their question if it hasn't been answered yet. So polls and Q&A within the EDU Enterprise version of Google Meet will really enable you to make your lessons more interactive and get that engagement that you want during your online lessons. Now, once your meeting is over and the lesson is finished, you can jump into your inbox and you will get an email from Google Meet. Now, Google Meet will take all the information from those polls and Q&A and they will put it into a neat little email. And once you open that email, you will get two separate spreadsheets. Now, the first are the questions asked, and then the second one are your polling results. So let's go ahead and open up these polling results. This opens up our spreadsheet, and here we can see who has answered those questions and what they answered. In addition to that, we can open up our questions, which again opens up a Google Sheets, and here we can see who submitted that question, we can also see a timestamp of that question, the number of upvotes, and then also if this has been answered by the moderator, if it was hidden by that moderator, if it was cleared, or if the submitter deleted that question. So let's say that your students asked a question, then they deleted that question and they got lost in the stream of things. Well, here you will have an overview of that question. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another EDU Enterprise Highlights with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.